Here's a million dollar question. Why did the government drag their feet when dealing with foreign terrorists or such monsters as Hitler, Stalin, Lenin, Bin Laden? At the end of the day, the reason they drag their feet is they wait for um, such atrocities such as 9-11, the Holocaust, the hellaciously horrible reign of Stalin, robbing ordinary good people their free rights, basically. Is that any time a charismatic and enigmatic speaker who wishes to make change for the better, who speak on the genuine behalf of the American public or the quote-unquote American public, the people, people who live on, on our particular continent, want to rise above all um, the status quo and have a much better life and have equal rights, opportunity, food, lack of poverty, medical care, you know, all that pesky stuff that doesn't seem necessary to help people to survive. Well, in the long run, the minute anybody who can articulate and break through the ignorance like a razor speaks out, our government and our Justice Department use those absolute fucking monsters from the past as, a, as an excuse to come on down, come down hard on such people as Vernon John, Marcus Garvey, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Russell Means, Huey Wilson, John Trudell, Dennis Banks, Clyde Bellacourt, Dina Manning Trudell. These are all people that openly spoke out who could articulate, who are very well educated, who are very smart. And because they were able to articulate and very educated and very smart, masses of people were willing to listen to them at the drop of a dime. So basically, the upper 1% who want to retain money and gain a rich living at the expense of poor people will do just about anything to hold on to that way of life. They're actually afraid of hard work. Manual labor doesn't seem to compete with them. In other words, if you're any, if you're remotely close to intelligent or even um, are able to articulate and you have have an IQ above 30 and are able to sit there and have and have long very very um, gar garrulously intelligent high words, then in the long run they want to shut you up. And unfortunately, a lot of people who can articulate and were very intelligent did meet that end at such a violent notice. We could sit there and beat around the bush all we want, but in the long run, no matter how many different ways you put it, the upper 1% who basically leave us under the, uh, under the realization that we live in a fake democracy, will do just about anything to shut up anybody who can wake up the masses. See, so you, if you're incorruptible, you can't be brainwashed, you go against the grain, go against the shuffle, against the, the norm of what anybody wants, and, you have, you, and, you have, and you're very intelligent and very bright, and people listen to what you have to say, they'll... If they can't hurt you, they will hurt the ones you love. That's how they operate. That's how they've always operated, and I don't know how, how much longer that will continue to work. Considering how we're going through such a culture cleansing in society, that um, the police and our country as a whole, the way it's run, are being called out on a lot of bullshit. So... I can't say that we could avoid the stain of violence because, let's face it, it's part of our society. But if you really, really want to get that boil right down to it, the upper 1% on this continent drag their feet when dealing with, with such atrocities and monsters because it gives them a viable excuse to crack the whip down on us anytime we want to fight for our own rights their way of saying no 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 how dare you 
Call us on our bullshit. How dare you fight for your own equal rights? We live in the modern Roman Empire. Or... France, right around the time the poor people basically revolted and, and um, did what they had to. We're no better off. The only difference is today we're overpopulating and depleting natural resources, and the planet tilted from its axis. So, no matter what you say or do, we're screwed. As Russell Means once said, Welcome to the reservation.